ladies and gentlemen, uh, it has been a wonderful and I think historic uh, CBCA award so far. And we do have one award remaining. It's a very special category for me because 10 years into my career, it's still the only category one of my books has been nominated for. Uh, and that is the Crichton Award, the only category that specifically excludes the author. <laughs> Thank you, CBCA. Um, and well done, Sue de Gennaro. As you all know, she is a gun. Uh, Princess from the Packet of Frozen Peas, still in print. Um, Christine Otred, who has had such a big role in making today happen, she is our next presenter, and I'd like you to welcome her to the stage. She's the Victorian branch president, and she is going to be our announcer for the Crichton Award for First Time Illustrators. Thanks, everyone. Uh, the Crichton Award is administered by the Victorian branch of the CBCA to recognise and encourage new talent in the field of Australian children's book illustration. It was originally funded by a bequest by Mr Wallace Raymond Crichton and first awarded in 1988. The list of past winners is available on the website and it's indeed an impressive roll call. The judging panel consists of an established children's book illustrator, a children's literature representative and a convener from the committee of the CBCA Victorian branch. We may each read illustrations from a different perspective, but when we come together, the different experiences create a shared lens for the close and rewarding examination of the work. This year, we had a strong field of 21 amazing entries and the depth of talent was truly humbling. There are six shortlisted titles and one winner. So the 2015 shortlist for the Crichton Award is Trace Bella for River Time. Karen Briggs for Kick With My Left Foot. Michael Camilleri for One Minute Silence. Robin Coucher for Little Dog and the Christmas Witch. <laughs> Snip Green for Meet Douglas Mawson. <laughs> and Leanne Tobin for The Lost Girl. <laughs> and the winner is Michael Camilleri for One Minute Silence. Uh, hello. Um, I'm 43 and I'm pretty new to publishing. Uh, I'm an artist and I've been a bit of a, a butterfly. A bit of theatre, comics, drawing, painting. So um, that makes me a very good waiter. <laughs> now, I've done that for sort of over 20 years. Uh, and so I didn't really prepare a speech, but I just wanted to mention a couple of things. One was economics and um, being a butterfly, uh, I've had to have a lot of help. Catherine, my partner, is um, the one that makes it possible for us to be raising a child at the moment, mm -hmm. financially. And um, doing this book, friends, uh, had me in their little bungalows out the back as a studio and other people were very generous letting me kind of sit in their studio. Um, so I want to thank all those people. Uh, and I also want to thank um, the people at Allen and Unwin because going through uh, and sort of stumbling through life, uh, you get a real shock 
when you meet people who have some kind of power and influence in, in the big world and they're really enthusiastic about what you do. You kind of get used to uh, having to explain why something makes money or um, you know, what other kind of practical purpose it has uh, before people start to take you seriously. And so when you, when you meet someone um, like Erica who just goes, I think what you do is great and I want to help you do it, um, yeah, it's really surprising. <laughs> Sorry. So I want to thank Erica. I want to thank Jody Webster, who was the editor on the ground for this one. Um, and our arm wrestles, I still enjoy them. <laughs> and Eva Mills, um, who was the sort of honcho editor. I want to thank Sandra Nobes, because every time I've spoken about this book, I have forgotten to thank her. She was the book designer, and when I was having a tiz towards publication, she was very patient, and so I thank her very much for that. Uh, CBCA, uh, Victoria in particular, I, I, I thank Christine and Mary, and um, the late Morris Saxby, who was, uh, they were all enthusiastic about this book, so thank you to them. Uh, and just as far as illustrations go, I thought um, a nod to Jan Ormerud is fitting and uh, also wanted to mention um, Peter Sis, who's a Czech illustrator who was an inspiration for this book. And lastly, thank you to David, even though he is excluded from this award. Uh, <laughs> he was the, the inspiration, obviously, for the book and it's his ideas that, are, that started this book. So thanks to him and thank you.